Hello everybody and welcome to another Unity 3D tutorial episode 5. Uh, so in this tutorial I am actually going to be doing uh, an FPS series for our next room in the game. As you know the, the previous one was kind of like the starting out one where we just did some basic scripting. Um, this one's going to be uh, some basic FPS thing and in the next room or if you just want it in this sort of room in the game um, I will go on to do raycasting shooting. For this one we're going to just be uh, creating little bullets that are 3D models. Now when it comes to if you want to make a multiplayer game, they are more performance intensive I think because it's an actual object being shot through the world, yet with raycasting it's just sort of, it you make a sound and then it, it just sort of, it, it, it just makes a path or whatever and it, it just does what a bullet would do but without a model. Um, but we'll look into that in the, in the future. So, yeah, uh, by popular demand, you wanted uh, an FPS series. If I go back to my, if you went back to my old FPS series that I did, I think a year ago or something, um, when I used to use Bandicam, uh, <laughs> it was. Uh, there's been a lot of uh, attention to that quite recently, and a lot of people have been having problems because of the new Unity systems and stuff like that. So I said, right, I will do FPS for this one because you guys need some help getting back on your feet with the old series I did. So I'm going to be using my original scripts. Um, I'm going to redo them to this tutorial. I've got them up on another screen, um, but I'm going to tie them up properly just so you know what each each thing means. Um, now, scripts. Uh, let's create a new one here. Create JavaScript. Now, this is going to be called gun script uh, dot js. Now, people that have come from the other tutorial, uh, actually, no, we just called gun script. Um, people that have come from the other tutorial probably have the script already, so that's fine. Um, I'll probably put an annotation on now where you can probably skip ahead once this is done. It might be the next episode, I don't know. <laughs> Hopefully I should get through this very quickly. Because um, it won't take too long, so I've already got the code here. Um, and I actually, when I did the reloading episode or whatever, I think it took me a while to realise, oh yeah, the reloading is actually pretty easy to do. <laughs> um, but now I actually have more knowledge. I could probably do it a bit more efficiently, but I will uh, leave that for another time. So. Uh, we want a var bullet spawn. This is going to be where the um, bullet is going to spawn uh, in the world. I'm going to zoom this in a little bit just so you guys can see a little bit clearer. I don't know the quality is not perfect HD, um, but we will continue. So we're going to want the bullet game of oh, I said that wrong. Game object. Remember, it's also case sensitive. Um, so once it goes blue, you've actually got it right. Uh, equals ten. That's our, that's is going to be our ammo. So the amount of ammo that we're going to have. Um, the shoot equals true. This is actually going to be for reloading. Uh, now we've got this start function here. We don't actually need it because uh, we actually don't set anything in the start function. We might do in the future. But we're going to take it out for now. So in update, we're just going to have a simple reloading mechanic. Um, if ammo equals to zero, oh, uh, oh, insert no. Uh, da, 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 da. There we go. Uh, if ammo equals zero, then shoot. Ah, sorry, my uh, computer's a little bit buggy today, uh, so the keyboard's are going a bit uh, weird. Uh, shoot equals false. Uh, we want it to then set ammo equal to twenty. So we're going to create another function down here, which is going to be called func oh, function uh, function reload. Sorry, uh, I thought I created a shoot function. We'll probably want to create a, uh, a shoot function soon. We want it to yield wait for seconds. So basically, this is um this is where you can actually make things happen. Like um, it's good for when you have like. Subtitles or something, you use yield to wait for seconds or something in the cutscene, and then you just change the text or something like that. Um, if you guys want me to cover um, what you can do with this, and let me know because you can do like blinking lights, uh, you can use random times and stuff like that. Um, so let me know, and I'll um, do some mini episodes on this or something. Uh, then we want it to set uh, shoot equal true. Uh, so in here we can actually then do the reload function. Reload. So what's going to do is going to reload. It's going to set the ammo to twenty. It's going to allow us to shoot again. Okay. Um, but what we're going to want to do is, if uh, we can shoot, then we want to uh, do this. So shoot equals true. Then 
uh, if input dot get button down fire one. Now this is normally set to I think left or right click. I can't remember. I think it might be right click. Um, there is an animation to play, but we'll just sort that in a second. We would want to instantiate instantiate um, uh, bullet. This is the so this is the game object we want to spawn. We want to spawn a bullet spawn dot transform dot position. Uh, then we wanted to do bullet spawn dot transform dot rotation. So basically, this is the position it's going to spawn at, and this is the rotation it's going to spawn at, um, which is good. And then ammo minus minus. So every time we shoot, it's going to minus the ammo by one. Uh, so if we got ten ammo after ten shots, this is going to go to zero. Uh, then it's going to reload, and then we're going to be able to shoot again. We can set animations for that as well, which I'm going to cover that in a moment. Uh, now, one last thing, I'm just going to copy this in. You guys can then just copy it uh, off because that's probably what you're doing anyway. Uh, so here we got GUI dot label. Uh, this is where some text is going to go. It's going to display the ammo. Uh, so we want GUI dot label rect ten, uh, comma ten, comma hundred, comma twenty, and then ammo plus ammo. Uh, so this is basically just going to display how much ammo we've got on the screen. Uh, so that's that. Uh, so we've got that there. Um, now we're going to want to create another script, uh, which is going to be the bullet script. So if we go to here, create JavaScript bullet script, which we're going to attach to the bullet. So basically, uh, this is going to make it so it just shoots forward. Uh, so that's going to be for now. There's not going to be any uh, physics. Oh, uh, save that. Want to develop just has to refresh. Uh, there we go. Uh, so, we want bullet speed over here. So, var bullet speed equal to 100. So, it's going to go full speed. Oh, I haven't spelled that right. Uh, full speed at 100. Uh, we don't need the start function here as well. So we can get rid of that. It's a very simple uh, line of code. I think I learned it from a tutorial like two years ago or something. Um, and I've always used this when I've uh, done this. So, transform.translate vector3 dot forward uh, times by time dot delta time times bullet speed so it's gonna it's gonna go forward at delta time uh, times by a hundred uh, I, I need to read up and delta time I, I use it in code but I never know what it does um, it's obviously something with time or whatever Probably someone in the comments will be like, oh yeah, hey, you, I know more than this, this is terrible. Whatever. Um, that's that, so we've got that and that. So what we're going to want to do here is just, we're going to create a simple terrain. Actually, we could probably drag in the terrain we've actually created in the uh, other episode. Yeah, we can use this. We'll use this terrain over here. So where's the camera located? Just, let's have a click on the camera, just so we can get to this piece of terrain a little bit quicker. So we'll go over here. Uh, again, we need to add some light. It's not pretty uh, light here, so we'll create other uh, directional light. There we go. That's good. Let's increase the intensity by a little bit. Uh, so add some water again. Yeah, water. Uh, so we'll go with nighttime simple water. That's the best. There we go. That is almost good. There we are. Um. And then down here, first person controller. Uh, so do that. And then what we're going to want to do is going to go to the asset store. We're going to get a gun model. Now, if you have a gun model already that you may have modeled, if you if you know Blender, whatever, you can import that as well. Um, but for this, we're just going to um, use the model that's on the asset store and then um, we're going to use like a little sphere for the bullet um, but I will show you some blend tutorials on how to make a bullet or a gun as that's about the, the main thing I can do in Blender is kind of make those two things okay so uh, over here I just want to go type in gun and uh, hopefully we get something good what have we got once it loads hopefully 
Um, there we go. Oh, we got this uh, that. There's one that I saw that was really, really cool. Um, maybe it's not on here anymore. Maybe they, maybe they've got it to be paid now. Oh, that's a shame. Okay. Um, so what we're going to use here, we're going to use this one for now. Uh, it's the cartoon stuff machine gun. If you can find another one, you can use it. You can use any gun for this. I think you just have to reanimate them. Uh, any time. Oh look, we can probably click on this guns tab here. Oh, this will be good. Yeah, we'll go to the guns tab there. Uh, if you hit price, then you can see what we've got here. Uh, modern weapons pack. Oh, here you go. We can use these. Oh, there's actually quite a lot here, so we can use these. Um, obviously, if you do make a proper game with this, you always have to credit the person. I recommend just creating all your own models if you can or finding someone that is willing to create them for you or you may just have to pay to get them made uh, hopefully this doesn't take too long to download looks like it might okay um, oh no here we go speeding up now okay so while that does that uh, we can drag that over here hopefully no it's not going to let us there, there we go so while that does that uh, in this scene view we can Game object create other. We can create a sphere like that. I'm just gonna drag it down a bit and I guess I'll drag it like that and turn it to sphere. There we go. Just like that. And what we can do on here is add component bullet script. That's on here. Like so. Uh so this is gonna be our bullet prefab. Bullet. Uh, actually, I think I'm just gonna set that to one, one, one. Uh, we'll scale it down to about there. Okay. Uh, so in our thing here, we're gonna want to put the bullet just here for now. So that's the bullet. You can delete it there. Oh, oh, there we go. It's importing the guns now, which is good. Uh, oh my God, it's loads. Import. Okay this will take a couple of minutes or a couple of seconds depending on your computer's speed of importing uh, with me I'm a sort of average computer speed so it just takes a couple of minutes or minutes no not a couple of minutes it's about 30 seconds oh actually I saw a smoke grenade there so we can actually do some grenade scripts later on there we go all imported right okay so we can just delete that from the scene like so now over here or somewhere we will have uh, the guns. Modern weapons pack. Here we go. Uh, I think we'll use this one. FBX. There we go. The FBX models uh, tend to be a little bit nicer to use. Uh, right here we go. If we go to the to the game view, we just drag it down here. Uh, we just want to have the gun lined up in the in the screen. So there it is. Actually, I'll tell you what, we'll have it down. We'll have it down here. Okay, so we want it to be within shot of the game. There we go. We'll have it somewhere there. Drag it in to here. So we've got all this, which is good. Uh, then what we can actually do is because. Um, a lot of people are having animation problems with different guns. What we can actually do with this, if we focus here, we create an empty game object. Drag that into the first person controller, drag this into here. Then what we can actually do is we can animate this game object um, and it'll actually animate whatever's inside here so you can have multiple guns. That way you don't have to reanimate them unless you're um, doing this, which is animating this part. Uh, in that case, then we'll probably create a script where it will detect what gun you've got, and you'll choose which animation is necessary to be played. Uh, so here we go. So that's the game object. Um, now what we can do here is attach the gun script, which is here. Uh, so the bullet uh, actually where wait where's the bullet spawn? That's another thing we need to create. So we need to focus here. Go to create empty, and the bullet spawn is actually going to be just on the tip of the gun. So we'll move in a bit. Rotate it a bit. And let's just 
Hopefully we can change uh, camera views. Perhaps not. Uh, oh, where's it gone? There we are. That should be good. Just on the end of the gun there. That's our bullet spawn. Don't forget to uh, drag it into the gun or into the player. And then on this, we drag in the bullet spawn. This will always be taken around with the uh, player. Actually, what we want to do is we just want to put this to the main camera because um, that way, when we move with the camera, it will uh, actually move the gun as well. Whatever. Um, so now what we want to do is just want to add the bullet into into this. So there we go. And then hopefully if we have a look here. This should all work. If not, then uh, I've done something wrong. But if we do this, look, it shoots the bullet. But then once we get to here, we can't shoot. And then two seconds later, we can shoot again. There we go. It adds 20. And all these bullets, for now, they don't actually disappear. Um, but what we can do is in here in our bullet script uh, we can uh, call this where we do uh, destroy and do function destroy uh, yield wait four seconds we'll do like five yeah uh, then game uh, destroy this dot game object. Hopefully this will work. So it destroyed them after actually we'll set this to about four. Um, so it destroyed the bullet after that amount of time. Uh, so if we have a look at this, one, two, three, four. There we go. It, de it deletes. Uh, we can just shoot as many bullets, and then they'll all sort of slowly start deleting. Basically, this is just good, so it just doesn't cause tons of lag on your game. Because if you have them always shooting or still out there in the world somewhere, um, it's just gonna—they're gonna keep going and just lag up your world a little bit. But with raycasting ones, you won't actually have to do that, really. Uh, I don't think. Um, so yeah, that's that's the gun script. Um, so in the next tutorial, I will work on animating this. Um, if you have any problems, let me know. I'll be sure to try and fix them. A lot of people were sort of saying previously, like their bullets were sort of staying where they were ever. Just make sure you follow this and just double check you've done everything correctly because I think if you don't set the bullet spawn, um, so if I go here, I set the bullet spawn to nothing. If I shoot, it won't even let me shoot. So I don't know um, how people are still getting that. As long as you follow those scripts, they should work perfectly fine. Um, next, where I will do the anima animating. Because I know you guys want to do the animating. And in the episode after that, um, we will be creating a level for this. Like a really nice level. We'll probably do some Blender modeling. So that's the one thing to do. Download Blender. It's free 3D modeling software. Get to know that if you can. And in the next step, in the next two, in two episodes time, uh, I'll probably be showing you how to model a few things. Or maybe two, three episodes. So I don't know. But I'll probably be modeling some things. So I have that ready. Um, that'll probably be some point this week. Uh, I don't know. But anyway, thank you for watching. Uh, don't forget to subscribe and share with people who you know want to make games. Um, yeah, make have fun with that. Uh, you should be able to set it for basically any uh, thing. Uh, so I just quickly drag in another gun. Uh, where is... What's my, if we go to the AK-47. We just drag this in. It's about the same uh, length. So I'll just drag this in here. And if I just put this over into the game object and I just remove this and hit play, this should still work. Just the same, there you go. So the bullet spawn is just a little bit uh, in, as you can sort of see. But it, it shoots kind of straight. Um, it just kind of depends on where you've got your bullets. But we'll, we'll sort of work on that so the it shoots properly and we have the gun position perfectly. But anyway, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And uh, yeah, I will see you in the next uh, episode where we'll be animating this gun with reloading and shooting and all the good things. Uh, so yeah, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye!